What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Del Finky Quill, and I have an unboxing video for you today. But first, someone is joining me in this unboxing video. Now, he's just had a sleep, and he seems pretty calm. He's just had something to eat. He's looking at all the things in my ugh, messy, messy craft room. So we'll have to see how this goes. You may hear some oohs and ahs and noises, but it's just the baby. Alrighty, now this, my normal camera angle, it's a little bit off and it's really annoying me that it's not perfectly flat. It's a bit tilted, so I'm sorry about that. Aaron's got to fix up my tripod because we're at the new house now. Um, but I got some goodies from Citrus Twist and I wanted to show you because they're freaking adorable now. I paid for these um, except for the Project Life kit because I'm on their Project Life design team. Um, but I paid for the Christmas goodies and they're so cute. I can't wait to scrap Archie's first Christmas. So came beautifully wrapped. I, I snipped into it and got straight in. Um, I'll show you the Project Life kit at the end, but I want to show you the Christmas things. So let's move this over. Adele, you didn't think this through. I'll show you my desk after this because my desk is not like, oh, focus, Mr. Camera. My desk isn't as nice and tidy as it usually is. Um, so first of all, this is the main kit. I'm just going to open this up. Uh, Sorry for the noise. Okay, so we get worms, 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 worms. The bunnies will love those. Um, now, first of all, I'm very excited because I can see something that I've been watching. I kind of forgot. I, I ordered these during moving house and as you can imagine, my brain wasn't really functioning properly so I roughly I remembered there was some sort of cute vintagey crepe paper bunny uh, crepe paper um, deer thing in it but I kind of forgot what was else in the kit so <laughs> I'm so glad about this because I've seen people hauling it and I wanted it badly so this is the main kit and then you get to choose between two different types of papers um, so of course I chose the crepe paper one and then there was a more traditional one I don't remember what it was but it was a bit more traditional colors and a bit more Santa Clausy um, so first of all you get the the fa la la crepe paper puffy stickers Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have to go back into the Citrus Twist shop and see if they sell these separately because, yeah, they're the most beautiful puffy stickers I have had for a very long time. This is gorgeous. I don't know if I've said before, but my nan and I collect little Bambi statues. Actually, I'll show you my favorite one. It looks like this. Here we go. This is my favorite little one. And it looks very similar to the Bambi in here. I may even go a bit off course and um, take a photo of my Nan's Bambi collection and use that for that because it's just too pretty. All right, Adele, you've talked for like two minutes about puffy stickers. Move on. So, like I said, you got to choose between the 6x6 papers that you wanted, which I think is a great idea because just changing the 6x6 papers can really give the kit a different feel. Um, so these are the Fa La La uh, crepe paper ones. This one's got some gold foil on it. I hope you can see that. My camera has decided, I don't know if I, I might have to reset the settings, but it's decided it doesn't like autofocus even though it's on autofocus. I've got Fa La La's. Oh, that's pretty. I'm not usually a bird person, but cute little vintagey looking birds are my up my alley little trees hope you can there we go you can see it oh hope you can see it clearly nice that's a nice neutral christmas kind of paper oh goodness you okay mr mill he's he's watching me he loves watching scrapbook videos with me on the tv um i hook youtube up to the tv and he loves his favorite thing is flicking through papers it's he's obsessed with it um so this is a really nice one it's got some gold foil on the stars i bless you <laughs> there's a little pink trees i was hoping there'd be one with the deer on it but i don't think there is red stars green and a polka dot so that I may have to invest in the 12 by 12 version of that paper pad 
Then you get the Pink Fresh uh, December Days uh, enamel dots. And of course, I will be using all of those except for one row. <laughs> Guess which row I won't be using. Um, they're very, very cute. The rest of them are so me. And you know what I like? This is going to sound silly, but I feel like enamel dock packets these days, like the past year, don't have as many enamel dots as they used to. They usually only have five rows and they space them, they put spaces in between them so it looks like you've got a really big packet, but you really don't. This has a lot of enamel dots on it and some tiny ones too. Then you get the Falala -la -la ephemera pieces. Now it, it drives me a bit crazy going through ephemera packs um, on video, so I'm just going to turn it over and, and you can have a look. Yes, I know Archie, you probably would have liked flipping through the ephemera pack, but we're on a time limit to see how good you are. I really like this card, the 5x5. Five five. I love vintage cards. If anyone knows where to buy um, vintage flash cards online, let me know because I really, really want some for my junk journal. Now, I watch these American girls doing hauls and they get them from like estate sales or their thrift shops and we don't have that type of thing over here. So let me know if you can see somewhere online that has um, uh, vintage flashcards. Then you also, so you get this ephemera, but you also get this ephemera. So this is the December Days Pink Fresh. Ah, uh, and they do have a picture. So there's all sorts of goodies there. Very my colours, reds and blues. I'm, I had started designing the Christmas printables for my Patreon and they are very similar colours as this. I had planned, I had started designing stuff for December a couple of months ago and they're very similar so if you're one of my patreon peeps this will coordinate nicely <laughs> then oh my god there's heaps of stuff in this kit i can't remember the price i'm sorry um but it's all on the citrus Twist website so this is the 6x12 december days pink fresh sticker sheet so lots of tiny words labels really usable and i'm someone who likes to like i like to um chop between collections. I don't like to use just one collection in a layout usually. Um, so it's nice that there's both the Pink Fresh and the Crate Paper and it's not all just the one brand. So some frames. I'll have to think of a layout to do use those frames so that they don't sit in my stash because I am quite bad at making frames sit in my stash. And then my favourite piece of the whole actually. Oh dear. Crate Paper Puffy Stickers. I think you've found your match. For the most beautiful. I love you equally. So this is the giantest puffy sticker sheet I have ever seen. It's from the December days and it's gorgeous. I love it. There's so many puffy stickers there. So that's the main kit and then like I said you get to choose which um, paper pack you would like and then I'll show you what else I got. I also grabbed the Christmas stamp set. I um, don't know if it has a name, but it'd be the, the Christmas one. Um, and it's got lots of nice like Christmas sayings. And I just, I love the font that um, Trini uses at Sutra Swiss. I love this outline and the typewriter and the script. Like that's my three favorite fonts. Are they yours too, Archie? Oh goodness. So that's going to be lots and lots of fun to use. And then this is, there's two um, mini kits. So this is the Christmas Story mini kit number two. I didn't get number one, but I got number two. And you'll see why I got number two. Ooh. Hang on, I've just move these. There's not enough space in here. <laughs> on my desk. More worms for the bunnies. Oh, wormy worms, worms. There we go. So this is the mini kit number two um, and you get the ephemera pack from My Mind's Eye called Oh What Fun. I like this little elf man. He's cute in the gingerbread house. So I'll be able to use lots of those in my uh, maybe not the greens. There's quite a few green ones in this, um, but I'll still be able to use most of it. Then there's some paper clips. I can tell these would be great for 
um, some Christmas junk journaling, I think. So some cute little paper clips and then more puffy stickers. So many puffy stickers. Uh, so these are from the My Mind's Eye Oh What Fun and they're little circles and they're very sweet. The perfect thing for Project Life because they're nice and tiny. And then I had to get it because of this. So I got the Fala La Crepe Paper uh, Chipboard. Oh, I got a sneeze. Achoo! Sorry guys. Um, I had to do a schneezel. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the 12 by 12 chipboard from Fala La. And it's beautiful. Now, I've talked before about these banners. I really struggle to use the um, banners in layouts. Oh, I think I've got to sneeze again. Achoo! Goodness! Um... I think I've told the story before, but my kids in my class last year used to call my sneezes cat sneezes because I tried to suppress them and they, they go really high pitched. Um, Archie follows after his father and does not do cat sneezes. He does very loud vocal sneezes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this banner piece seems a lot smaller. I just don't like the ones that go all the way across, so I think I should be able to use that. Usually on these chipboard sheets, there's... <clears throat> probably a third of them that I really am going to struggle with using and here I don't think there's too many that I might struggle a little bit with the caravan this Christmas tree is beautiful I want to use that um, it reminds me of my Nana so I think I want to use that with a, a picture of her because she used to have these Christmas tree ornaments that look very similar to that Someone's found their ball, uh, which has a bell in it, so I'm sorry for the bell in the background. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is the Christmas Story Mini Kit number two. And then while I'm here, I might as well show you the November Project Life Kit. So if you'd like me to do um, a monthly unboxing on the same day that I show a process video using this kit, um, let me know because I do that for the Reset Girl when I get their kits, um, but I can do it for Citrus Twist as well. So here we have the little card, and the thing that I really liked about this is that you can still use it. Um, I hope we're in focus. The lighting in here is just, I'm still getting used to the new room. This is only the second time I've filmed videos, so I'm still getting used. Archie's being so good. I might even be able to do a process video, maybe. Um, so these are the cards. They're double-sided. Oh, are we in focus? There we go. Flowers. Together. Ordinary moments. Oh, I'll be able to use... Oh, we're out of focus again. There we go. Um, I'll be able to use this card for the recent little trip that we had for um, Aaron's Pop's funeral. There's, I think there's a lot of like good times because we did... It was good to catch up with family and this... I have the perfect photo to put with that one. So much to be thankful for. Some cups. Find comfort in the chaos. Yes, that's my life right now. <laughs> we have had the most hectic, um, probably six weeks that I have ever had in my life. Uh, so we moved house. So I packed up the house while Aaron was at work, which was tricky with the baby. My nan was in hospital really, really ill. And then we moved. Yes. Archie, we know. <laughs> um, we moved house. Oh dear, the ball has gone flying. Where did the ball go? Where did the ball go? Here it is. We found the ball again before the meltdown started. Um, yes, we moved house. My nan was really, really ill in hospital. Aaron got sick while we moved. Then Archie and I got sick at the same time. And then um, Aaron's pop passed, passed away. So we went away for quite a while to the um, funeral and to see family. And it's just been non-stop. Um, so I'm looking forward to actually having a weekend at home. It won't be this weekend, and I don't think it's the weekend after, but maybe the one after that we might be home. <laughs> so this is the stamp after my little rant about how chaotic life has been, um, called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's got lots of little like moods. So do you feel wild and free, caffeine induced, 
Um, the chains on my mood swing just snapped. I love that. Wife, mum, boss. I'll use that. I always say boss in an American accent. I don't know why. I don't know why. Isn't it funny how, do you have any words that you say in a different accent? Are there words that you've picked up from me that you say in an Australian accent, if you're not Australian? I'd be interested to know that. Um, I once taught a, this is like a rambly video today. Um, I once taught a little girl who came as English as her second language and I could completely tell which, she had a beautiful Spanish accent and I could tell which words I'd taught her because um, she would say things like around and um, shops and she'd say it with such a strong Australian accent. Um, it was very funny. Um, some little cork pieces. I love this, books and coffee. I might have to snap a photo of um, Aaron with that one because I don't do coffee. Archie, do you think we could swap this ball just for a moment with your stuffed toy? Look, look at this, look. Ah, there we go, let's confiscate, here's the ball. Let's confiscate the ball, yep, there we go. Oh good, he didn't cry. Uh, then you get some ephemera and I'll show you them here. Sorry if this is a bit of a rambly video, but I think I get a bit rambly when I'm home alone with Archie. <laughs> Um, so then there's puffy stickers and they're really vibrant colors. They'll be fun to use. I love me a good tiny puffy heart. And then, ooh, puffy turquoise alphabet. That'll be good to use. I always look forward to see what the alphabet is in the Project Life kits because I do use it quite a lot. And then it looks like we've got some six by eight papers. So you always get two four by four um, pocket cards and the cut apart which usually has lots of labels on it and then we've got some papers what collection is this from I have no idea what collection this I'm a bit out of the loop at the moment because I don't have um, internet so I'm a little bit out of the loop to upload this I'm going to have to go over and steal some um, I think my stepfather-in-law's internet one day after I'm, I'm away this weekend um, <laughs> what a surprise not at home <laughs> um, but next week hopefully I'll be able to upload this with a process video for you so lots and lots of papers this kit will keep me going for I could easily do I reckon most of November with this kit there's so much in here so that is the November Pocket Life Kit, um, the Christmas Main Kit, the Christmas Story Mini Kit number two, and the stamps. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll get Archie to do the outro for me. Archie, you were such a good boy. Yeah, such a good boy. Yes, I know. I've got lots of stuff to do. You don't have to look at it all and remind me how much I have to ugh, unpack. Hey, Arch, can you say... Yes, I've got your ball. I've I've confiscated it. It's not down here. I've confiscated it because it's noisy. Do you think you could say bye?